Welcome in, John Gonzalez, Amy Sherman. It is behind the mitten time with the CFX Breakfast Flakes. How is everybody today? Good morning. Hey, great, thank you. So, and and I've I've driven through the UP a lot. Kent's driven through the UP a lot. I've seen the signs. I've driven past Germ Fask, but I have never stopped. But you guys are spending a whole weekend in Germ Vask this Sunday on Behind the Mint. <laughs> I know you guys, you're in disbelief. You can't believe we have an entire show coming at you from Germ Fask, but it's true. Population 460. We're going to spend the whole weekend there, right, Gans? <laughs> we are. And we typically, like you, Rob, just drive through. We have made a stop to grab a beverage and a burger. And uh, other than that, we're like, there's nothing else in this town. And we've done that for years. But this weekend, we said, you know what? There's got to be something more. And we find it for sure. <laughs> it's, I it's like it. A, it's a great show. You guys are really going to love it. Of course, we stop at Toby's Jolly Inn. That's what most people know of in Germ Fast, right there on 77, heading north to Marquette. We're going to talk to Damian Toby. He owns the bar. Uh it might be haunted. We may share some stories about that. Uh, but then we had we also head up the road to an incredible spot. It's a canoe livery, but it's also the home to an awesome art installation. Gonzo, tell them all about it. Any beard fisher and the owners, well, the owners themselves are a story, right? I and mean, you're going to love hearing how they came to own this Northland Outfitters. They're from Colorado. They bought the place sight unseen. And uh, they said, hey, we need to have an attraction here. They got this international artist to do a sculpture. I mean, not just like a little tiny thing, a huge, you know, sculpture made from reclaimed wood is, as part of their operation there. He's called Benny and uh, people are flocking from everywhere to come see Benny. And it's just, uh, it's a good little story, right? I mean, it's just fun to see this, these people making uh, this huge investment in the community. Yeah, it's crazy. These guys, you guys will love them. They actually like, Flew in from Colorado, drove to the UP, bought this canoe livery, and went home to Colorado all within 24 hours. And now they live in the UP and love it. There you go. See, that's a good that's a good story. And you'll get the whole story this Sunday morning, 7 a.m. behind the mitten from Germ Fask, which is how it's pronounced, by the way. <laughs> it is. That's how it's pronounced. And we'll tell you how it got its name too on the show. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no hard G. In Germ Fask, it is Germ Fask. <laughs> this weekend on Behind the Mitten with the uh, CFX Fun and Games Department. Sunday morning, 7 o'clock with John and Amy. Uh, you got time for a quick uh, couple of questions. Amy, we saw you posted on our Facebook today. I did. Yeah, what we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, David David was upset that he didn't think anybody was going to remember his birthday. So he's like, hey, is it cool if I throw my own little celebration? And Amy was like, Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Get on there and throw your own party. Everyone would be thrilled to be invited. Don't even think twice about okay. it. <laughs> I'm going to throw, I'm gonna bake a cake today and throw a little party. It's not even my birthday. But we had some, <laughs> we had some questions earlier this week. Some of the kids already back in the classroom, some of them only days away from hitting back in the classroom. So we had three fun back to school. Would you rather questions that were from mom and dad? And we're going to throw these out. We're going to see if if you kind of answered the same as everybody else this morning. So, one, would you rather spend the day volunteering in the kids' classroom or chaperoning a field trip? Oh, ah, I like both. I'm going to go chaperoning with a field trip. Wild things could happen. <laughs> okay. John? Yeah, that I, I'm, I'm, I'm all in there because then you get to meet other parents and chaperones and ignore the kids. <laughs> exactly. See, I I said a field trip too because you get out, you get to do some fun stuff, and and the one that has never spent any time in a classroom disagrees with us. I did. I said classroom, but uh, but uh, all of our answers. Seventy five percent said field trip on that one. By the way, so you're you're both normal. You're both normal. Yeah. So so number two, would you rather help them with their homework every single night or a weekly school project? School project. I'm terrible at math. <laughs> Every night, because the school project is always at the last minute, like, you know, minutes before the store closes <laughs> to get the glue. See, I did, right. I did a school right. project. Who doesn't love the baking soda volcano and all those other things that you build? You're building something rather than sitting down every night, having to argue them with them over the homework. I, I pick school project every time. It is hey. 75. It is 75 percent school project. The answer. So Amy, normal, John, normal. not so much. <laughs> not so much. One more. One more. Would you rather back to school? have them always have the same teacher, like basically through elementary school, or experience a new teacher each year? 
Oh, new teacher each year. Absolutely. Same teacher. That way, you know, you know, you know everything. You know, you can you become friends, and that way you can slack off. Like maybe fifth grade was kind of a blur. We'll just we'll figure it out. Okay. You know? Okay. So what if you had like me fourth grade? My teacher didn't. I spent a lot of time in the hallway fourth grade. We we just butted heads a lot. So if I would have had that teacher all through elementary school, that'd have been rough. I say it new teacher awful. every year. It would have been I, awful. I had I had the same teacher for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, and I slacked off all the time. So John, <laughs> you were right. <laughs> By the way, the uh, the the would you rather answer for that? It was a hundred percent. People were saying they should have different teachers. By the way, and so even even me who had the same teacher said we should have different teachers every year. Gonzo's not normal. Yeah, there we found. We knew it had to be one out there somewhere. <laughs> Sunday morning, seven a.m. It's behind the mitten with John and Amy. Appreciate your time this morning again. Thanks, guys. Again.